Okay. I have to stop dancing to this music and start my intro. What is up? That was loud. What is up, everybody? My name is Miss Ray Ray, and welcome back to part three of Undertale. I don't know where this camera is. Anyway, welcome back! I know um, part two is short. Well, I don't know about short, but like shorter than the first one, but I'm gonna continue it because now I don't have stuff to do I got I'm in clothes because I had to be an adult today, but I don't have to be an adult anymore. So let us start Continue with the spaghetti It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's cold. It's so cold. It's stuck to the table Let's go say hi to the mousey. I mean, I guess That's cute. That's cute. Okay, so what I'm saying, I guess, too, is from part two, when I just completely avoided Sansa's puzzle, I think I could have just done that with the other one, too. But I, I didn't know I could. Like, I wanted to go talk to Papyrus and Sans first before I go see the word search. I didn't know why. I, I, I didn't know that would occur. So... I want to avoid the rest of the puzzles, but then again, I also don't because that was the point of the game. I also wanted to do a. Okay, this is like really loud in my ear. I can't hear myself. I also wanted to do like a genocide route first and then do the peaceful route. Actually, what I wanted to do was genocide the neutral, then peaceful, but I knew that would have affected the game. So I'm kind of just going through what I feel is right and doing the full peaceful one. But I kind of. Maybe later. I know it says let them be happy at the end, but like, I want to go back and maybe do the genocide route and then see if that. Actually, I wanted to see if that changes the entire game when I go back to the pacifist route. Because that'll be like. Then it'll be like. Sans will probably act different. I don't know. I wanted to, but then I thought, mmm. That, that's kind of mean if it does affect the game, my, my game progress at all. Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> yes, warning to all dog marriage. Uh oh. Lesser dog appears. Look at him, he's so happy! Yes. I like his shield, it reminds me of Legend of Zelda. Let's not fight the lesser dog. Oh. Pet? It's pet! <laughs> you barely lifted your hand, and lesser dog got excited! Ah! Cute. Pet, pant. Pant, pant. No! Oh, shit. Okay. I literally walked into that one. Mr. Dog is barking excitedly. I want his head to go up more, but then again, I also want to be done with this. I want zero XP and zero gold. Awesome. I could have gone down. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. I don't know what just happened. I can smell my lamp burning. Oh, hey, look at that. That's ex exactly what I just did. Darn it! I make it look like I've played this game before. No. I mean, I've watched people play it before. What do these remind me of? These remind me of like these little tiny styrofoam beads that my grandma has in this like Santa snow globe. And I like, they shoo out of this Christmas tree. That's what they remind me of. If any of you know what I'm talking about, then good on you. Ah! Shit. Ice caps and snow drip confront you sighing. Jerry. I mean, that seems kind of mean. I ditched Jerry. You the must just ditch Jerry when it looks away. That's so mean! Snow? No, it's hat residue. Nah! Nah! Ah! I'm dying! Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad pun. Um, laugh at Snow Drake? With Snow Drake? 
Your head looks so naked. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Ah, no! Shit. Stoja Cake's pleased with its cruel joke. Where's your hat? Who doesn't know? What? I died! How did I die? I really wasn't looking at my health. You cannot give up just yet. Ray, stay determined. I will stay determined. Thank you, game over screen. I start from spaghetti again. I do. I do. I indeed do. I guess since I know this. Ah! Yes, her dog! Pat. Ah! Pant, pant. Excited and forgot. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. There's nothing hidden here. I'm pressing the button, nothing. I just seriously walked into that. I did not move. What's that smell? Where is that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. <laughs> identify your smell. <laughs> I like the whole jazz cello thingy that will happen with him. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate. Eliminate you. Doggy, assault you! Dog Amy, Dog Ressa. You're just gonna roll around! So they don't think I'm- you roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. I am a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail! Do humans have tails? Ah! No! Ah! Okay. The dogs may want to re-smell you. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. What? Smells like- smells like a puppy! Oh, thank god. The dogs think that you might- may be a lost puppy. Dog Amy? Pet! Pet the doggy! You pet dog Amy. Wow, pet pet another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Oh, I can do this. I can stand not moving and not getting hit. That's good. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. And this pet dog Aressa so she won't feel left out. You pet dog Aressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! Oh shit. No! Oh shit! I'm dead. I don't have anything in my inventory to heal me. I'm- oh my god. How am I so bad at this game? Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up before us. Thanks, weird puppy. You're welcome. Turn every X into an O. Oh, press the switch. I'm trying. It turned into a. It has an okay, there you go. Papyrus. 
What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it, left it. I kinda had to leave it, it was frozen by the table. Really? Wow, we! You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta! Just so you could share with share it with me! Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> doing Papyrus' voice. Papyrus! You look so happy! My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> oh, he always makes me smile. Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is... Worry not, human! I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Papyrus, you're adorable. Okay, so... Like, literally, I can... I'm not going to. I'll be a sport about it. Can't go over one. How do I do this? Mm -mm. Ah! Okay, so this is the obvious start. I guess that could work. Okay, let me try this. Okay, hold on for a second. I think I got this. go. There you go, Frisky. See? More than one way to skin a cat. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Sorry. <clears throat> Spit down the wrong pipe. Okay. Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! I think I changed his voice again. God darn it, that sounded nasally. 
It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> you just walked around it. See? 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 Hi, Sanzi. Oh my god, it was last night. Why don't I forget his voice? Good job, Zan. <laughs> They're like so opposite. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hmm. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see, these tiles... Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impossible. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. I love you. I do love small oranges. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Science. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Actually, yeah. I understand. Understand the explanation? Of course. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Still dancing to this song. Spaghetti from earlier it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Pasta's really not all that difficult to mix up. It's one of the first things I learned to cook. The machine isn't working. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. This dog is starting. <clears throat> this dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Because that's how art works. Stare at it until it becomes real. I'm gonna regain my health. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Nice. What is this? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pomeranians. <laughs> My mom should play this game. She would absolutely love it. And by that, I mean she hates me now because ever since I've seen the first day I've seen Undertale, I've been doing nothing but blasting her with puns and jokes. That dog considers itself an artist, but don't but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. That's a little mean. Is 
This is another puzzle. Okay, got it. Nope. I was probably going the wrong way from this, but it makes sense to me. Of commentary right now because I'm trying to com I'm just looking at the <laughs> It was a snowbirdie! Did you see it? It was a snowbirdie. It looked like a kiwi. That's really weird that there's a bird named a kiwi. There was a kiwi on what's his name's neck in Life is Strange. What was his name? Frank, the dealer. There was a kiwi on his neck. Isn't that so weird? This game must have something in common. I want to go that way, but then I also want to get to Forgot which way is progression. That way is progression. I want to go down here. Sandy, <clears throat> what's up? Sandy, how you doing there? <clears throat> Say, <clears throat> are you following me? <laughs> oh, hey, Griff Trot confronts you. Undecorate. Gift. Decorate. That's not. Undecorate. You remove a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parents. That's a little better. Oh shit, I forgot. Nah! Gift trot is slightly less irritated. Gift trot. Let's undecorate. You remove the box of non dog related raisins. Well, thank god. I hate raisins to begin with, but still. That's a little better. Ah! No! No! Ah! I do not want these reindeer pellets. <laughs> Gift trout is slightly less irritated. I'm a little more freaked out, thanks. You remove a small, confused dog. A weight has been lifted. Gift trout problems have been taken away. Oh dang, he looks so like so scared. You won, you earned 20 gold. Say, you following me? I did not know why I gave him a country twang at the end of that, but hey. No, oh, this is ice that I don't slip on. Hey, that was the thing that was on Toriel's little thing. Is this like a secret I can come back to? Like the sans thing and the office thing? Because I really want to. It's a door. Maybe for like Tori or something. I want to know. What is this door for? It's a door. I want to know the secret. Everyone forgets about the door later. Say, are you following me? You sure do like exercise. I really don't. I'm like the laziest person I know. Not, not the laziest person I know. The laziest person in my family? Yes, definitely. It's a snow puff. Tiny doghouse. Woof. Cute. With this, and this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What's a puff? I've never actually like. Well, I mean, I've seen snow before, but like, I've never seen it snowing, so I don't know what these are. 
They look like cotton candy to me. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold! A snow puff! Eh? There's 30 jing inside. This. What is this? It's a snow puff. <gasps> little doggy! Oh, look at the little doggy! Oh, he's so cute! Little doggy turned into big doggy, but he's still so cute! Can you hear this music? Cute. I'm almost dead. Do I have any items? I do. I have nice cream. Good to know. You look nice today. My HP is maxed out. Oh, shit. I'm really bad at fighting. Beckon? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Fucking slobber into your face. Ah! 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 Greater dog is seeking affection. Greater dog. Play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Ah! 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 Greater dog is seeking affection. So then, pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It sounds like my dog. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, I did. Why? Why? Okay. That was probably really loud for you. I'm sorry. Dear God, I messed up my mic. <laughs> Come on. Ah! No. Sorry about this. Okay. <laughs> I am so bad. No! Come on. There you go. The keyboard just to be shaken up a little. Okay. Ah! Damn it. Shit. Okay, I have to go back. Oh, wait, I didn't know what there's something down here. <laughs> it's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written in it um, in red marker. That's funny. <clears throat> okay. Wee. 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 Was just a lump of snow. Hmm. Is the 30G still in there? Because I have seen these already. Snow puff. Yeah, I got the 30G. He's so cute! And he's even still like adorable even when he does that. I love the music in this game. Call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber into your face. That's really gross. <laughs> no! No, I'm dead. Just still have my nice cream. I still have my nice cream, thank God. 
Is this as sweet as you? Your HP is maxed out. Oh, I'm flattered, dear sir. No! 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 Bad dog! Bitch, you're so cute. I can't stay mad at you. Look at your face. Look at it. Your dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. They get so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up! It is so excited! Excited! Oh, I did it! Isaac, good game. Greater Dog is patting the grounds with its front paws. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the air and brings it to you. It's kind of gross. Now, dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Ah! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Want some TLC? I watch for them this fight so I don't die. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. I have had big dogs before they do that. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. <clears throat> Petting capacity is 40%. Gotta pet some more then. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. Sorry. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Ah! Greater dog is contented. I am nearly dead. Oh, so cute. I'm nearly dead. The only thing I have left is a snow piece, which I am not going to eat. Human! This is your vital and vital, vital and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! The dog! Look at the dog. I'm not covering it up. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now! That um doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked, like my pasta. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Bye, doggy. Phew. People actually say pew. I can just sigh, but okay. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Mm. Ha! No. Ha! There you go. That last one was better. Yeah! Ha! Ha! There you go. That's what it was supposed to sound like. I was prematurely head. I don't know what brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. No stop sign. Can I, like, nope, I just walked through them. Welcome to Snowden. I kind of want to go back and see something. 
Where are you? Oh, I didn't mean to do this. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flee. I missed my chance. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm safe here. I don't have to fight. Oh, thank goodness. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. in town. <clears throat> oh, look, the shop in the inn is... Use the box? Yes. I want to put the snow peas in there, in the box right now, just so I don't, you know, um, what do you call it? Use it out of desperation when I fight, because I know it gains HP. Take it out, the next box I see. I promise. Hello, traveler, how can I help you? Manly bandana festival. Um, oh, I got a 130G. That'll do me some nice. Hello, traveler, how can I help you? Say hello, what did you hear? Town history, your life. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Kropi's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those black skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers of mine. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The, town's got, the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, I don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Forget about it. Life's the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but... We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we as long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? She's so I like her. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to I can't I can go now. I got what I read. Come get some time. I got 20 out of 20, so I don't need to stay at the end. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. This lady? Snow Lady? Isn't my little cinnamon, cinnamon just the cutest? Bun Buns, you're so adorable! <laughs> bun 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 Bun. I think I made one more bun and I made it that. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition, tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Christmas! Which is appropriate because it's no longer Halloween, but it's almost Thanksgiving. So it's around that, you know, see Christmas everywhere time. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Come here, you're cute. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing striped shirt. <laughs> Are 
Are you wearing a shirt? Is that just your body? This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Really? That's weird. Let's go to Grillies. I find it really weird that I don't have to press anything to go through the door. No matter where I go, same menu, same people. Help! I want new drinks and a... Hot <laughs> guys! I don't understand your struggle. But I guess it's... Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. But they can't, that's the body. We love bones. <laughs> oh my god, did you see his face? I always I thought the noise was funny, but I never actually saw its face when I saw that. Look at his, watch its face. Right now, watch its face. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting this fight collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. There's, there's a joke about in there that I'm not gonna talk about. Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put a line, put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. So it was his fishing pole that we saw earlier. Was that? Grilb said <laughs> he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. I was talking to you, not Grilb, but okay. Mm, okay, it's the same thing. I wanted to talk to the... Okay. Okay, for the longest time, I thought that little red thing on top of its bill was like a pimple or a boil or something. I realize now it's just a glass. Not smart. Is that camel with green hair? Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Or onto their butts, not into their butts, of course. The jukebox is broken. always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Neither am I. I'm still smiling. It's all about the attitude you present. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? So funny. Hey, Doug, can I talk to you? I want to talk to you, Daddy! Rock with a mustache. Uh, to be young again. The world sure felt, the world sure felt boundless. Really, to me, just felt open. But then again, I love it on the ocean, so. I don't have a lot of friends around me. I don't have a lot of friends around me. I have a lot of kids around me. You aren't gonna make me human. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Let's play monsters and humans. Human. Who started that? I hear nothing but rushing water. Water, not water. Water. Because I speak good. Be. Well, 
welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> that look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Oh, right. I asked my mom about that last night because I was asking last time is the Junior Jumble like that game that you have like the letter dice and you shake it and you look for words? I think it was Boggle. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. You can correct me if you want. I really just want to know the game, what the game's called. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. It's my kind of newspaper, though. <coughs> When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Monster History Part 4! Okay, well, I mean, if you're gonna... Um... What part one first? It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn to dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Um, am I at the page of Manilum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Every kid ever. That's like cremation. Like some people want their ashes spread over the ocean or over a garden or made into a potted plant. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. Sadly, that is true. They'll never, they'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. I have no idea what that's referencing or what they're talking about. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. Am I still writing that one? Or, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. The monster doesn't want to fight. It defends its, its defense will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful stole, stole, soul struck with the desire to kill, um, what's in the chapter feed? Monster History Part 4! Which I guess there's no part 1 through 3. During the humans no longer, we moved out of the old city. Home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, freaking really is bad with names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of a soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these to exist. I want to go up. Okay, I wanted to go up, but never mind then. letters. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. It's like my mailbox. My keyboard's going out again. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside? Yes. So I'm just gonna shake this thing. It's empty. Oh, papyrus. So this must be their house. It's locked. Well, I mean, yeah, good. It's locked.
locked from the inside. Okay. Is there any? Okay. I am going to stop here for now because it has been 50 minutes and I don't want this to get over an hour. So thank you so much for watching. I am in love with this game. Um I'm not sure if I'm gonna put stuff at the end of this video or not, because I didn't for the lap for the first one. I'm not sure if I bought the second one because I'm playing this before I edit it. And because for one, I'm lazy, and two, I get tired of asking you to I get tired of you I get tired of asking for you to like and subscribe because I'm not gonna force you to do stuff that you don't like. And I'm not gonna force you to love me. Cause what's love if it's forced? So anyway. Do that if you want. I am going to go find something to eat because I ate before this and now I'm hungry again. So, thanks for watching once again. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a